A pivotal moment for the Philippine space industry. Filipino-made CUBE satellites Maya 3 and Maya 4 are back on Earth after being in orbit for 10 months. The satellites re-entered the Earth's atmosphere on August 4th and 8th, respectively. Joining us now is engineer Jadiel Reyes. He's one of the developers of Maya 3 and Maya 4. Good morning, uh, engineer Jadiel. Thank you for joining us. And first of all, a huge congratulations to you and the whole Stamina 4 space program. It feels good to say that, that we have a functioning space program here. Tell us, what were the results acquired from the CubeSats 10 months in orbit? Hey, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me here. Mm -hmm. Engineer, ano ba yung uh, data na naiuwi ng ating mga um, uh, CubeSats? Okay, so we're glad to say that Maya 3 and Maya 4 were active uh, throughout their lifetime. So mm -hmm. we have the APRS and the Jupiting. So this is a communication device payload, both for Maya 3 and Maya 4. So we were able to serve uh, amateur radio operators or ham operators mm -hmm. at several parts of the world. So some of which are either receive beacon or perform the Jupiting function. So uh, we have from Asia, uh, Philippines, Japan, Thailand. We also receive uh, feedback from Europe. Uh, we have France, Netherlands, Germany, Italy, and Greece. And also for North, Central, and South America, so USA, Panama, and Argentina. Mm -hmm. And we also have data from readings from instruments aboard the satellite. So we monitor the health status of the satellite, the battery temperature, and other parameters we have experimental payloads like GPS modules and measurement of magnetic field. So these readings will undergo analysis and interpretations uh, later on. This is very exciting. You know, these, are, these are small uh, you know, microsatellites. I don't know if that's the correct term, but small CubeSats. What is the significance of Maya 3 and Maya 4's return to Earth, engineer? What does it say about our efforts to elevate our satellite development uh, capacities? So. I can say that the CubeSats return to Earth uh, marks the start of the next phase of local satellite development mm -hmm. and capacity building. So, especially for the smaller satellite classes like the CubeSats. So, this is like saying we can and we did it. So, because we're not only talking about the actual satellite, but mm -hmm. uh, what it takes to build those satellites. So, this includes uh, human resources, the knowledge, skills, the know hows the facilities, tools, mm -hmm. uh, equipments, the processes involved from procurement to utilization and availment of different local services like mm -hmm. the testing, manufacturing, mm -hmm. fabrication, and logistics of handling the satellites. Right, and more than that, it really allows um, you know engineers like yourself, people who are interested in uh, uh, you know developments in in the space industry, it really just sort of allows us to dream and be part of uh, everything that's going on across the world. Maya three and Maya four were developed in UP Diliman under the Stamina Four Space Program, funded by the Science and Technology Department. Gawang Pinoy talaga, and like I said, it really just shows that we do have the, what it takes uh, to be part. Uh, you were one of the engineers behind this. Uh, how about you tell us a little bit more about what were the challenges that you faced in developing and building these cube satellites, which, like I said, you know, are, are, are born and built here uh, in the Philippines, yet uh, is able to actually sort of uh, be part of uh, worldwide space programs. Tires po. Uh, for the challenges, so we can say that our biggest challenge still will be mm -hmm. uh, the pandemic and its restrictions. Yes. So because since we're working on a hardware project, so we need to be physically present in different facilities, uh, laboratories to perform our tasks. So restrictions and lockdowns, especially last 2020, when we were in the middle of our development phase, so it limits our movement and flexibility. So most of the aspects become more strict and tight, so particularly the scheduling and management of the activities. All right, engineer, uh, we're not going to stop there. I heard that you're not uh, you know, going to let that anything limit you. Maya 5 and Maya 6, the second set of Philippine University built CubeSats are currently being developed by scholars. Uh, where are we on this and when is it expected to be launched into space? How do we, how do we get our CubeSats into space? San batayo sumasabay or where do we actually piggyback? 
So currently, uh, my five and my six developers are in Japan. So mm-hmm. they had a flight last August, this August 9. And right. uh, currently, they're performing the space environment test in one of our partners in Japan, Kyushu Institute of Technology. So these tests are critical because this will be the basis of the launch provider and coordinating agency like JAXA if they will accept and approve the satellite to be launched and deployed in space. So uh, speaking of the process to, that the satellite will be brought in space, so ang ginagawa natin ay nakikisabay tayo sa ISS resupply mission. So mm-hmm. last time, for Maya 3 and Maya 4, we uh, use the service of the space SpaceX. Right. Well, there you go. Uh, this allows us to, like I said, continue to, to fly high and to, to dream big. We can't fly any higher than outer space. So it is very exciting for everybody here in our budding space program. Congratulations to you, Engineer. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Engineer Judiel Reyes uh, joining us here on New Day.